Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is an example of something I've showed a couple times before, but it's really common, and hopefully this will be really easy now once you see this enough. So just on this one midline cut, you should be able to say, hmm, I think I know what this is. We see this marrow edema, the medial femoral condyle, and there's darkness beneath the articular surface, really prominent edema here, maybe some trabecular compaction, and some marrow edema around it. This is another view. You can see this a compact area beneath the articular surface, probably a trabecular microfracture and compact bone there, and then this big halo of marrow edema. We see the meniscus body is pseudo-extruded, so with these two findings alone, you know, okay, this is non-functioning, uh, this is a non-functioning medial meniscus, it's pseudo-extruded, this is a tear of the medial meniscus root, most oftentimes, and we have this stress reaction of the medial femoral condyle, and it's going on to articular surface collapse. Also some marrow edema here. We're going to go back and see if we're right or wrong. Going backwards, 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 and there it is. You see this little vertical band of bright signal? That is the radial tear going through that medial meniscus a posterior horn. Or here's the posterior horn, and here's the meniscus root. And there's a posterior horn root junction tear, a radial oriented tear, and it's disrupted the radial fibers and allowing the meniscus body to become pseudo-extruded. And the meniscus is not doing its job, so there's abnormal stress. And this is it. So you should be able to tell just in this one image, boom, this may be a meniscus root tear or at the junction between the root and posterior horn. And that's it. Thank you very much.